Hi, my name is Christine Miska. This next activity, we're going to create our very own video game. Everyone who participates will learn basic computer programming skills, and we're going to use those to create our very own NBA basketball video game. And you can even share it with your friends and family at the end and play the game that you wrote. So this is pretty awesome. The approximate duration of this activity is about one hour. And all you're going to need for this activity is your computer and you'll need to access YouTube for some short videos and the website Hour of Code. So it's going to be a great time. Before we get started, did you know that one of the most valuable skills that you can learn today is how to program a computer? It's super fun and there are so many high paying jobs for people who learn to do computer programming. There just aren't enough computer programmers. And it's, if it's something that you like, you can make a lot of money and start your own company someday if you want to learn how to do it. Okay, so for this activity, I'm showing my screen so that you can do the same thing on your computer. So when you go to your Google Chrome or website, you're gonna go to the following website. You're gonna type in hourofcode.com slash, that's a forward slash, US for United States because they've got all kinds of languages and worldwide activities. So this is the Hour of Code website that we're going to be using and we're going to start by clicking on activities at the top. So click on that. So there are tons of activities that you can do here. We're going to just do one during this session, but feel free to come back to this website and explore so many of the other activities you could do. Um, it's a lot of fun. So we're going to scroll down here until we see in this co left column, we're going to see um, a basketball NBA logo. And there it is. So we're looking for the Code Your Own Sports Game. And as you can see, this is for grades second grade plus, or as some of the websites say, from six years old to 106 years old. So this is fun for really anyone second grade or older. And we're gonna click on that. Okay, so you can see this is a beginner programming activity, and it's about one hour in length and we're going to hit this button in the middle that says start. So let's press that start button. Okay, so this page here has some really cool videos. We're going to watch two short videos and then we're going to get started into our coding activity where we can make our own video game. So let's see, first of all we're going to start with this one here on the left where it says push yourself, anybody can learn. So we're going to click on the play triangle and see what they have to say. I started playing basketball, tennis, football, football, but little minion. Getting really good at something isn't easy. It takes persistence and hard work. It takes years of commitment. Success isn't just about training your body. It's also about training your mind. Your body and brain get stronger when you push yourself. I didn't always know I'd be a basketball champion. Não sei mais cosa ti riserva il futuro. Os futuros campeões serão os criadores. Aquello con el talento para cumplir su sueño. Con algo te imaginas o futuro? Que quieres crear? ¿Qué vida puedes cambiar? You can dream it, you can do it. You can bring any idea to life. It's not going to be easy. It takes time and determination like anything else. You'll make mistakes, you'll get better. You'll get stronger and you'll succeed. Push yourself. Push yourself. Push yourself. Push yourself. Push yourself. Okay. Oh, respect. Anybody can learn. So the things you listen.
Okay, guys. So that was a pretty cool message from all kinds of professional athletes uh, and Olympic gold medalists from basketball to tennis, football, windsurfing, soccer, and even marathon runners. And they're all um, excited to show you how cool doing coding is. Next, we're gonna watch another video. So we're gonna close out that first one and then we're gonna go to coding with Draymond Green, which is right here. If you're a high school student that's thought about taking computer science, go after it. I didn't always think I was great at basketball, you know, but I approached it in a way that no matter how good I was, then I was going to be great at it. And hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. All right, now I hit run. Draymond Green came to our school. And we coded with him. That's my favorite player on the team. I'm so happy. As basketball has taken me so many places, computers can take you so many places. I think it's important to give our kids the necessary tools that they'll need in life to be successful and to continue to push this world forward. Okay, and once you close out of that video, we are now back to this screen and we are gonna code our own sports game. So if you see this logo on the side with NBA and WNBA, we are going to click on that and get started. Okay, this is the screen that you're gonna see. And at this point, you can just pause your video and follow the instructions and you don't need to walk through it while I walk through it. So you can explore and figure it out yourself with the instructions but I will also have on video here that you can play and see how I completed the tasks. So in case you get stuck, um, you can watch the video and go to the next step. It's no problem if you make any mistakes. Uh, you can just try it again. You can't break anything. Um, so it's okay to make mistakes. That's how we learn. Uh, and I'm sure to make some mistakes along the way as well. So this is the point where you can pause and do it on your own. Um, or of course play if you want to see how we do it. So you follow the instructions here. Attach a block to the quote when left arrow block and press run. Move the hand using the left arrow to reach the finished target. So those are the instructions. You'll see on the left here is our game uh, picture on the top left. So it looks like a basketball court. We see a little red flag on the bottom left and we see a hand. Uh, and then we see this run button. And then the place we're gonna be working on our code is the bottom half here where we see the blocks. Those are the instructions and the workspace. So uh, as the instructions say, we need to attach one of these blue bl blocks to the when left arrow. So when we hit the left arrow, do we wanna move left or do we wanna move right? So I know I would be confused if left arrow meant right. So let's take the left and move left and we're gonna click it. Whoops, I guess we had to click okay first or click and then we're gonna move left and drag it to go right underneath. And you can hear when it clicks in place. And so we say when left arrow, move left. Um, those are the instructions. And then we're gonna come over here and hit the run button. Okay, so uh, you can use this arrow right here and click on it to move left. You can also use on your computer, there's a left arrow button, which I'm gonna use right now. Click, da -da -da. Oh, and since you hit the flag, it means we completed the task. That was the first puzzle. So we're gonna say continue. Okay, puzzle number two. Attach a block to the when right arrow and when left arrow blocks. Move the hand to reach both 
finish targets. So you can see there's a flag on the left and there's a flag on the right. So we need to tell the computer what to do to move right and what to do to move left so we can get both of those. So when left arrow, we want to move left. So let's put that underneath there. And when right arrow, we want to move right. So let's attach that. Okay. We're going to we're going to run our code that we just created and we're going to hit this run button and let's see what happens. Okay. So now the program's running, but we haven't done any action yet, right? So we haven't hit any arrow buttons. So let's say we get the flag on the right first. So we're going to, when we hit the right arrow, it should move right. Right, right, right. Let's keep going. We got the, that flag. Now we have to move left. Keep moving left until we hit that flag. All right, we did it. And then continue. Okay, next we're going to send a ball flying downwards towards the hand. Attach a block to the when the ball hits hand block to ensure the ball reaches the flag. So when the ball hits the hand we want it to bounce back towards the, hopefully towards the basket. So we're gonna move the bounce the ball say when the ball hits the hand we want it to bounce okay and that's all it tells us to do here so we're going to come over and run our code and i didn't hit anything we just said the rule was when the ball moves and it hits the hand it's going to bounce so we gave the computer the instructions all right moving on to the next puzzle Puzzle number four. Now the flag is on the top. See way up on the top left? You need to attach blocks to both of when the ball hits blocks to solve this puzzle. So if we look at this one, when the ball hits the hand, we're going to want it to bounce. And when the ball hits the wall, we want it to bounce as well. So it bounces off the wall. So let's try it. When the ball hits the hand, we tell it to bounce. When the ball hits the wall, we tell it to bounce. And that's our code. And we're going to hit run. All right. Oh, it's a little hard to see right now, but over where that run button was, you'll see a blue reset button. So if you do your code and something's not working right, you can always hit that reset button and it'll, it'll start over and clear things out. Okay, we're going to go next to continue. We're already on to puzzle number five. Now we have a lot more things to do here. So let's see what the instructions say. Attach blocks to each of the when blocks. Bounce the ball until it hits the flag. So we've got the flag up near the shoot line um, and then we still have our hand and the, and the ball. So let's read each of the green blocks. When the left arrow, we want to move left when we have the left arrow, right? Let me do that. When right arrow, what do we want to do? We want to move right. When the ball hits the hand, we want it to bounce. And when the ball hits the wall, we want it to bounce. And look, we've got a new command here. Play the bounce sound. And when you see this little upside down triangle, that usually means there's some other options. So we're gonna click on that and we're going to see, oh, there's all kinds of sounds. We can make a bounce sound, cheering sound, whistle sound, or a net switch, swish sound. So I think with both of these, these are bounces. So I'm going to have it do bounce. 
but you can have it make whatever sound you want. So when the ball hits the hand, we're going to bounce the ball and we're going to play the bounce sound. When the ball hits the wall, we are going to also do the bounce sound. Actually, maybe we should, when the ball hits the hand, maybe we should make that cheering so that um, the crowd cheers when the player hits the ball or, catch, or, or throws the ball. So let's, let's run this, see what happens. Okay, let's see. It says something's not quite right. Attach blocks to each of the one, bounce the ball until it hits the flag. Something's not quite right. Well, first of all, we also didn't move to catch the ball. So let's reset that. Let's run it again. That's all we needed to do. Let's replay that. Okay, so as soon as we hit run, we're gonna need to use our right and left arrows here or the ones on your computer to move the hand to get that ball. Otherwise, when it goes past the hand, if we miss it, um, there's a, there we don't get any points and the game's all over. So we're gonna reset. And we're going to run, but be ready to move your hand. All right. Okay, we got that down. Okay, step six. We have more things to do. You got to, I can see on my computer, I need to scroll down a little bit to make sure I can see everything. Okay, now there's a goal at the top. You see the basket? Um, attach the score point and score opponent point, that means the other team scores, blocks to the when ball and goal and when ball misses hand blocks to make a game. See how many points you can score before your opponent, opponent scores twice. Okay, so why don't we start with some of the ones we're familiar with. When the left arrow, we want to move left. When we press the right arrow, arrow, we want to move right. When the ball hits the hand, we want it to bounce. When the ball hits the wall, we want it to bounce. And let's also make a bounce sound. When the ball is in the goal, so when, we, when it goes in the basket, we want to score a point. Let's see, I'm going to move this. It looks like you can move these green things around, and I think you can even move these pairs around by drag and dropping. All right, so when the ball misses the hand, um, so if the ball comes and goes by us, like it did in that last practice run, then the other team or the opponent will get a point. So when we miss the ball, the other team gets a point. And let's do some sounds too. So when the ball goes in the goal, uh, if we get a point and we score, then I think we're gonna want to do a, ch oh, net switch would be really good. Let's move this down. I'd like a net switch, swish, and maybe also some um, cheering. Let's see if we can do both of those. When the ball misses the hand, the opponent scores. So, do we want to make a sound with that? Let's do let's do a whistle sound. Okay, let's see what our code says. When we press the left arrow, the hand will go left. When we press the right arrow, the hand will go right. When the ball hits the hand, it's going to bounce away. When the ball hits the wall, it's going to bounce. And it'll play the bouncing sound. When the ball goes in the goal, we score a point. 
and there's a net swish sound and cheering sound. When the ball misses the hand, the uh, opponent scores a point and the whistle sound plays. Now remember this game up at top it says we we play until our opponent scores twice. So when we miss the ball twice that's when the game's over. Okay this is a much more interesting game. Let's come over here and hit the run button and be ready with these arrows because the ball is going to be coming. Oh, I thought that was going to hit my hand. All right, the opponent already scored. I got that one. I definitely like using the uh, keys on the keyboard better. Okay, so I'm going to replay that. This time I'm not going to use these buttons to move left and right because I find that slow for me. I'm going to use my right arrow and left arrow on my computer. So we're going to give that a try and see if I do any better. And then, so we reset and we're going to hit it once more we're going to run. Mostly just have to make sure it doesn't go past the hand. Oh, I think that one might score. All right. Didn't quite hit the basket. Close. All right. I'm going to let this ball go. That's one score for the opponent. Here comes another ball. We're going to let another one go. Okay, so we let those last two go so we can move on to the next game, but you can play that as long as you want. Um, get the hang of it. Okay, so next we're going to continue. See what's next. Okay, you can now attach blocks to when run block. You have to attach the new throw new ball block in more than one place. Also, try changing the scene or the speed of the hand and the ball and see how many points you can score before the opponent scores twice. So now we can make this a little more interesting. So let's see. You have to, you can see that you can scroll down to see all the commands and on this side too all of the blue blocks okay so i'm going to start with the ones that i know best when left arrow move left when right arrow move right when the ball hits the hand bounce the ball when the ball hits the wall bounce the ball when the ball and the goal score a point when the ball misses a hand, score the opponent point. Okay, now this has um, this has throw a new ball. So if we want to keep playing, we last time the ball came automatically. This time we need to tell it it's time to throw a new ball. So when we score or when we miss when it goes past our hand and it goes off the screen both of those times we're going to need a new ball so let's put a new ball here and a new ball here so when the ball goes in the goal uh, we score a point and then we're going to throw a new ball but actually i'd like to see if there's some sound that happens before we get the new ball so when the ball goes in the goal i think we really like that cheering sound so let's make that cheering and let's see if we can put this in the middle. 
yes it let us scooch that right in the middle or if you don't if, if you um, want to take something off you can click and drag it back over here okay so we're gonna put that back but just so you know if you don't like something you can just move it around put it back over here if you don't like it so when we miss um, let's do a whistle when we miss so we're gonna make a whistle sound when there we go then we do the whistle okay so we have the basic stuff done and I think now we need to see what other things are oh let's see did we do score point yes then we need to see what other things we have here this is where we can set the parameters of our game for how we play so we can set the hand speed the ball speed and the type of hand so let's start with the hand speed um, what would you like we can do very slow slow normal fast very fast or random which means each time you play the game it probably has a speed and you have no idea what it's gonna be um, I'm gonna do fast hand speed and uh, I'm going to do slow ball speed so that will give me a little advantage in this game that my hand goes fast but the ball's slow and then if it's over here we haven't put it in our code yet we need to get it onto our workspace so when we run we need to set everything up for our game so we're going to say let's make all the time the hand speed is going to be fast and all the time the ball speed is going to be slow and we're going to set the hand let's see what this pull down says so we can do different color hands i say we do the light brown and we're going to set the hand okay i don't think there's any other commands that we want to use here so when we run it's going to be a fast hand a slow ball it's going to be a light brown hand when the left arrow goes we move left right arrow moves right when the ball hits the hand it bounces when the ball hits the wall it bounces oh we need a sound we need a sound for when the ball hits the wall let's make a bounce sound now if you run this and something's missing you just need to reset and change your code change your uh, plan and redo it so um, many times I've done this and I'll forget something so you just need to add it in all right so when the ball goes in the goal we score a point we cheer and we throw a new ball when we miss the hand the opponent gets a point there's a whistle and a new ball all right now the goal is we play the game until the opponent scores twice ready to run let's do it oh I know what I forgot there's no ball right so I need to tell my game to throw a ball at the beginning so we're gonna reset and let's move this down a little bit out of the way and after we set things up for speed we are going to throw a new ball all right so because that was a little bit big it jumped a little bit so I'm gonna move it out of the way okay now let's try the game and be ready to put your hands on the right and left arrows so you can be ready to play the game oh yeah that ball is moving really slow compared to my hand which is moving much faster oh I was trying to move that a little bit more come on let's get a score It's a little tricky when it bounces to know where it's going to bounce. 
Well, I know one thing. I think I'm ready for a faster ball. Oops, although I almost just lost that one. So let's reset. Let's make the ball fast. Let's go very fast. You'll see how quick I lose this game. Okay, very fast ball. Uh, I'm going to make my hand fat very fast too, so at least I have a shot. Okay, now let's run it. It's definitely harder. I guess that wasn't close enough for a score. Oh! Alright, opponent got one. Well, I lost two in a row, so the opponent wins. But we got our code working. Everything was working correctly. I just didn't get it in there fast enough. So let's go to the next one. Okay. This is where we're creating our own basketball game. We can change the rules if we want because we're making the game. And when we're done, we can click Finish, and then we'll be able to let friends and family try our game. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Okay, so when we run, oh, we have a new thing here. I see set the team. I think that's maybe our only new thing. We have ball speed, hand type, uh, hand speed, throw a ball, score an opponent, score a point, move right and left, and bounce the ball. Okay, so when we run, let's get things set up first of all. We are going to have our hand speed. I say we set that to normal. And then we know that fast was a little too fast for me anyway. And then let's set the ball speed to normal. Or actually, let's set the hand speed to fast and keep the ball speed at normal. Then we're going to set the hand. Let's do that color again. And, the, and oh, the thing that I forgot last time was let's make sure we start off the game with a ball being thrown. Okay, that's how we're going to start the game. Then when left arrow, we want to go left. And if you're making your game and you want left arrow to be right, you can always give that a try because you're telling the computer how to play the game. Okay, when the ball hits the hand, we want it to bounce. When the ball hits the wall, we want it to bounce. And, oh, we can also do a, a sound when, let's do a sound, how about, um, Let's do some cheering when we every time we touch the ball with our hand this time. When the ball hits the wall, we want a bounce, have a bounce sound. When the ball goes in the goal, we want to score a point for sure. We want um, the swish sound. And we'd like to have some cheering from our fans. So let's put that here and change it to cheering. Oh, and then we're going to need a new ball. So let's move this one down a little bit. Throw in a new ball. Okay, when the ball misses the hand, we score an opponent point. So the other team gets a point. We also want to make a whistle sound because the ball is going out of bounds of sorts. And we need to throw in a new ball so we can keep playing the game. And oh, this is the other new thing. We get to set our team. Um, and I think this needs to be done at the beginning as we set up everything. So let's move the right and left arrows over to the side a little bit, out of the way. And let's see what options we have here. Oh, wow. Plenty of 
basketball team options. And I am a Boston Celtics fan, so I am going to pick the Celtics. And uh, we want to have that happen right near the beginning, so we're going to squeeze it up here. Awesome. Okay, so I think I have the game that I want, and if I made a mistake, I'll figure it out as I play it, and then... Uh, change it. So let's give it a try. I'm going to be ready with my right and left arrows and I'm going to hit run. Oh, cool Celtics logo. A lot more cheering every time my hand touches. That could be a good bounce, could be a good bounce. Yes. Very enthusiastic crowd. That could be a score. All right, now I'm going to let the opponent get a couple points here. Oh, there's one. And there's two. Oh, yeah, we can keep playing the game. This doesn't end at two points. So I'm going to finish the game. Da -da -da. Now check this out. This is the coolest part. So that whole game that you just created, and you can make things different settings than mine, of course. Um, you can play that game if you share this link um, with your friends or your family. So you can copy that where I, I highlighted it and you can copy it and put it in an email or you can send it to a phone. So I'm going to do that and you can put your phone number in um, or you can scan the code with a camera so that you could start playing. So if you use your camera on this uh, QRC code, it will give you a link so that you can go play that game. So. This is exactly what you need to do. If you're not sure how to copy and send it, then I would at least write down um, the numbers carefully so that you can enter it into your computer and play it again later. But what I would like to do is I can do this and then I can do a control C to copy. I can go to a new window and do a control V to paste. Hit return. Let's see what happens. And there's my game. That's the game we just did. And so that same link, you can send it to anyone for their phones or for their computers. So let's just give a try here. Actually, it's easier to see on the bigger screen. I just moved out of the way there. That was a bad move. A new game is to do that activity again. Awesome. You can reset and start your game over. So I hope you enjoyed doing this activity. Um, it just felt like a fun little challenge with little puzzles um, that you can try things with no mistakes. And what you're doing is you're actually creating computer programming code with instructions and learning how to do computer programming. So it can be really easy. And then like the people said in the videos, you can practice at it and be persistent and become a really awesome computer programmer to do even more complex things. If for any reason you have trouble capturing what your game is with the link so that you can share it, feel free to try out my game. Um, just use the the text that's up here, you could enter it into your web link, studio.code.org slash C slash 116-011-2469. And you can play the game that we just created. So um, I bet yours came out better than mine, 
But uh, just wanted you to know that if you had any trouble, feel free to play this game. There's one more thing to share with everybody. Once you close out of your game that you just created, you might see this window that says you've earned a certificate of completion. So for me, in the time that we took, we finished a whole bunch of activities and this says you've earned a certificate of completion for the hour of code. So you can type in your name here and do a submit. And then there's my name on the certificate and you can print that out um, on your home printer if you have one available. And uh, you can also, if your printer is not working and you want a copy of your certificate, then you do a right hand click here. Let's see, you can save the image, save as. And then you might want a different name, certificate. Save. Then you have a file on your computer that you can see later. So I hope you had a great time. Congratulations if this is the first time that you've actually programmed a computer and completed an hour of code. Way to go.